CLSC this week travelled to Oxford to face Chinna, the side placed fifth in National 1. And after a good victory last week against Darlington Moden Park, CFC are looking to continue their momentum. Reset scrum referee on the opposite side. And Chinna begin to rumble towards the try line. Sailor buckling. The ball is out. And the referee is jogging over to the posts. Arm aloft to award the penalty try. Certainly was a significant degree of pressure at the scrum. The ball was over the line and Willie Ryan might have thought he'd had a try. The referee deciding to award the automatic seven instead. And sail trail early on. Throw and catch. And Chinna will set up the driving mall. Their forwards have already got one try from their hard work. And it looks like they're going to pile on for another. Some of the backs joining in. Selway has it at the back. Nick Selway's over. And it's confirmed by the referee. Nick Selway off the back of a strong driving mall. Scores the second try for the home side. Almost a carbon copy of the last time Chinna were down in this area. They set up the driving mall. Backs join in and Nick Selway again has it at the back this time. They're rumbling on. There's no stopping this Chinna pack. And Nick Selway gets his second. Chinna's third. Another well set up driving mall. There was nothing the Sail Pack could do. Tom Brady playing flanker and Sail have done pretty well to get out from the scrum and work out wide to Patrick Arvan. Little drop of the shoulder and he gets a fantastic offload away to Jonty Rawcliffe. Rawcliffe streaking into the 22 and is eventually tap tackled by Jake Ashby. Williams. Brings it into contact. Sale in a fantastic position to mount their first real attack on the Chinna try line. Bradley to Williams, still working that blindside. Mulcrone making a few men miss, as he always does. The outside centre. Now it might be time for a few of the bigger boys. Birchall breaks a tackle and crawls his way to two metres short of the line. Williams, flat ball. Talesi. Goes down short. Bradley making the decision to slow the play down. Jared Williams will have to work hard to keep that ball on the dog side. He does. Birchall we might see quite a lot of this now. Pick and go from Sale. Only a few metres short. The dogs had a terrible start to the game. And maybe this is their chance to get finally some points on the board. To land a punch in this battle. In a defence, holding strong for now. Right in the middle of the pitch. Dan Birchall spinning, stretching, scoring. Dan Birchall gets Sale's first try. It all started from a well-worked backs move. Well, Crone floated the pass out to Patrick Arvan delightfully. It was a beautiful offload from the winger. John T. Rawcliffe allowed to stretch his legs. For the first time, CFC find themselves in behind the Chinna defence and on the front foot. And they use that momentum to set up this pick and go. And Dan Birchall was the man to finish it off for the dogs. Game restarted and Sail FC will straight away clear their lines. Kieran Goss keeps the ball in field. Goss bangs off his right foot and steps his way through the Sail line. Trouble for the dogs straight after scoring. Ashby has it and Ashby will score. 
The perfect response by Chinna. CLFC who have had a torrid start to this match. I've just got their score on the board and they gift an opportunity to Chinna. Kieran Goss inside to Ryan. Ashby does the rest. And scores Chinna's fourth. Jake Barron rising high and setting up a Sale FC driving mall. Chinna doing really well to push it back and keep it at bay. And Matt Bradley's going to have to use this sooner or later. He is in the hands of the Sale scrum half now. Leota around the back to Williams. Across to Rawcliffe, the space, but Rawcliffe has dropped it. And Kieran Goss gathers the fullback's fumble. And Chinna have the ball back. Mistake by John T. Rawcliffe. There was, he had Tom Brady outside him. Though it's been fumbled in midfield. Just about kept in Chinna possession. And here come the home side though. Hodgson breaking some tackles and getting the offload away to Ashby. Ashby with Elder in support. And Elder will streak away. From a position of attacking potential, Sale FC gift the ball back to Chinna. Once more, missed tackles in the defensive line from the Dogs. Allow Chinna to counter attack. Ashby scored one already, this time provides for Elder. And the frustration. Evident on James Williams' face, front of screen, sums it up. Final play before half time. Ashby puts the ball in to the scrum. Chinner again on the front foot. Ryan has it at his feet. Ashby doing a pretty good job to keep the ball alive. And it will be with the Chinner backs. Battle in midfield. Ghost has it. Goss. Round the outside, Kieran Goss gets the offload away to Hodgson. More missed tackles from Sale. Hodgson makes it 31 points to seven to the home side. And there certainly will be an inquest in the Sale dressing room at half time about this defensive effort. Hodgson walks in for Chinna's sixth. Into the second half, Stone Priest and Angle down to the reserve quirk on at half time. Good carry by Jared, Jared Williams, sorry. Into the 22 and Teddy Leatherborough almost tackling the Chinna player to the ground. This is more like it, more like the dogs that we know. Mulcrone, powerful carry as well. A change of emphasis and intensity from Sale FC. Taken up this time by their captain, Andy Hughes. Rafi Quirk gets it away. Jake Barron bouncing off Nick Selway. Quirk. Leota around the back to Williams. There's a bit of space. Oh, James Williams is still going and he's still on his feet. And slides over for an incredible score. Straight after half time, James Williams gets the dogs their second try like a magician pulling a rabbit from a hat. He seemingly does the impossible, emerges from the countless Chile attempted tackles and scores a quite remarkable try. Now it's the chance for the Sail Pack to flex their muscles from the driving mall. Jake Barron has it at the back. They conceded two in this position in the first half and now it's their time to score one. Jake Barron crosses over. And with this change of intensity after half time, two quick scores, maybe the comeback is on for the dogs. Bradley back onto the pitch. Sale have it right in the middle of the ground here in Oxford. Good miss pass out wide by Tom Brady. And Mulcrone can stretch his legs. Mulcrone dinks it in behind. Teddy Leatherborough is in pursuit. Should be gathered. No, it's not. It's fumble and Teddy Leatherborough will stretch and score. Sale, pull another back. 
It was a great floated pass out to Mulcrone. And he had the awareness to see the space in behind. Puts the kick in, puts the pressure on the Chinna defender. Backtracking Teddy Leatherborough with a determined chase and he is rewarded for his determination with a score. Into the last 10 minutes. Sale still with a mountain to climb. But they've had a quite remarkable second half pulling back Chinna to only a 14 point lead and now a chance maybe to cr cross the whitewash once more. The forwards have it, Matt Bradley wants numbers down the blind side. Though they're getting ever closer, Jared Williams thinks he's over, Bradley appeals. The celebrations begin, try awarded. Another one pulled back by Sale FC. The referee had to do a bit of a job to see the grounding, but he did. And now Sale FC trailing by seven into the final play of the game, trying to make something out of nothing. Into the chin a half, up to their 10 meter line. The hosts can't possibly believe what's gone on in this second half. A quite different dog side has come out after the break. They think they've won the ball. Chinna, the home side, have turned it over, and that will be the game. Elder does an incredible job, a match-winning job. A phenomenal effort from the inside centre to get his hands on the ball at the ruck. Sale FC couldn't force him over. Chinna were awarded the penalty and are awarded victory. Despite a defiant dog side, they win 38 points to 31.